Today I want to talk about preparing for tournaments. This is a genuine question to you guys, as I don't have much experience. I've played about 9 or 10 tournaments before COVID, and I've played in about 3 or 4 online tournaments. But I know that people who have been playing fighting games for a long time tend to have played in a ton of tournaments offline and online. I think it's just the nature of these type of games to want to improve through competition, and tournaments are the best way for doing so. My local scene is running an online tournament on May 1st. It's going to include all of the Midwest this time, not just Texas. In the past, when I've played in tournaments, I didn't really expect to win anything or to do well at all because I was a new player. But now I'm at an intermediate level, and I think I could take a few rounds, honestly. I've taken a few rounds in the last online tournament. I entered before the you know Silver and Plat one, the River City Rush down San Antonio one. I made it to about ninth, I think. So I lost first round. Then I won two losers rounds, and then I lost to Dr. African. Now that's the best I've ever done in Street Fighter. In Grand Blue, I think I got fifth once, which was really cool. But I there wasn't much prep that went into that, right? It was just me playing ranked for a couple of days before the tournament started, and then I just played the tournament and did my best. But I just can't help but feel like there's a more efficient way that I'm missing, uh, whether that be mentally preparing or physically preparing for the game, or just a knowledge check, just something greater than playing ranked that I think I could use to prepare. So that's kind of why I'm turning to you guys for an answer this time. I just need a little bit of explanation and a little bit of help. And while I don't really expect to win, um, I, I do not want to go 0-2 again. <laughs> that would that would sort of be my goal here, right? There's a lot of very strong players that are going to be entering, and if I could make it anywhere past the first round of winners or the first round of losers, that would be a pretty big achievement for me. And I'm not really sure if after this tournament I'll really enter anything else for Street Fighter V because Strive will be coming out in June and I'd really like to turn my attention to that game for a while. So if possible I'd like to make this sort of my farewell to Street Fighter V for now, ha you know, sort of go out on a good note. I'll probably still play the game casually or in ranked with, you know, the new characters when they come out or when new features come out in this last season, but I'm not really sure how much I'll pursue it competitively anymore. The only game that I've ever really been around for on release when everybody was starting was Grand Blue, and, and that was fun while it lasted, but then COVID hit and we sort of all realized that the delay-based netcode in that game does not transfer over very well. So with that said, most of my tourney preparation in the past has just been me learning things that everybody else already knows, you know, general fighting game concepts and fundamentals. I haven't really been in the position yet to where I know most of those things now, and I can focus on other abstract concepts, like neutral and making reads, and really getting into the mind game. That's why I'm a little bit lost on what I should be working on before a tournament, and I'd like to hear what you guys do before you enter a tournament. Anyway, sorry for the short video, I genuinely just had this question and I wanted to pose it to everyone today, and to announce that I'll be entering that tournament on May 1st, so look forward to that. Also, if we hit a thousand subscribers anytime soon, I'll definitely have a special announcement as well. So stay tuned, and if you're not already subscribed and you enjoyed today's video or any of the videos that I made in the past, please consider subscribing. And thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.